take so many photos these days, and I'm gonna show you three great ways to enjoy them outside of your smartphone. You can print your photos on rice paper like this, and using decoupage medium, apply them to a nice heavy rock. And these are great paperweights. They can be great napkin weight, or just a really cute keepsake gift, something to share with family. Trim your photo to a little bit smaller than the top of the rock. This is also a great way to use some of those rocks you've collected on vacation over the years. This thin rice paper will mold right to the curves of the rock very nicely once the medium is applied. So with just a bit of decoupage medium, brush right onto the rock. Lay the photo where you applied the medium. You can see the paper starts to absorb it right away. And then apply another coat on the top. As with any decoupage project, let this dry completely and then apply another layer and then do that again. That way you'll have a waterproof, durable surface. You can use these outdoors and for a very long time. And you can smooth out some of those little wrinkles just with your finger. I can tell you right now, almost anyone in my family would love this as a present if it featured some scene of us up at the lake, out on the boat, all bundled up in our snowy gear. Let this dry completely, but this is gonna be so cute. You can also print photos onto these inkjet fabric sheets. They're so fantastic. They run right through your printer, and the photos come out really rich and bright on this. So I've got two on this page cutting it in half. And with photos printed on fabric, you can make a lot of different things, but I think it's especially nice for a little fabric garland. And the fabric's lightweight enough so that the light can shine through where it's hanging. So cut your pennant and then peel the backing off. Create a whole bunch of pennants with all the photos that you love. This stuff really works like a charm. You might need to iron some of them out so they're perfectly flat. Once you've created a whole pile of beautiful pennants of memories and scenes that you love, turn it into a garland with this fantastic fabric tape. This comes from cutetape.com, so a great source. Lay out a piece as long as the garland you'd like to make. Snip, start to peel the backing, and it helps here to work in sections. So lay one pennant about halfway up your tape and pull the next section and leave a little gap in between each one, a few inches. Lay your next piece halfway up and keep working down your tape. Oh, I love this photo. Now fold the tape in half so you create a nice edge for your garland. And this tape is blue and white striped, but Fabric tape comes in lots of colors and patterns, so you can match your decor or theme perfectly. This will look super cute on my porch. And finally, print your photos on this water slide decal paper. This will be for a cute little bud vase, so I've already cut this to the right size. Print out your photo, slide it into a dish of water, and let it sit in here for just a few minutes. And magically, the backing slides off from this and makes it adhesive to a slick surface like glass. So allow the photo film to loosen from the backing and begin to peel this off. You can see it's like a beautiful transparent film that you can gently roll on to your slick surface. Press out those water bubbles just with your finger and burnish the photo film on right to the glass. This is gorgeous. And for even more photo craft ideas, we have so many on MarthaStewart.com. These are three great photo crafts, but we have so many more on MarthaStewart.com. Try some out and share them with me on Facebook or Instagram.